How to set up the Oracle Autonomous Database using the Oracle Cloud Always Free account. Oracle provide the Always Free. <coughs> Oracle provide the Autonomous Database. You can use the Oracle Transactional Database or you can use the Oracle Warehouse Database. The difference is the way how the database is structuralized and the purity of the transactions. Using the Always Free tier, you can creating the one. Uh, one database of each autonomous transaction database or warehouse database which is the one ocpu and 20 gigabyte space you can exercise with that database and see how this is working for you how to set up that database to set up database let's log in to our oracle account We are logging to our Oracle account. Now, go to the networking, sorry, go to the Oracle database. And here you have options to select the warehouse database, JSON database, or transactional processing using the transactional processing. Click create autonomous database. Select your compartment. I will select demo. The display name. And the database name. And here you have also the option to select what choice or what type of the database. By the default, it is transactional because we come from that selection, but you can still have option to change the to data warehouse, JSON or Apex. Okay, we are using the share infrastructure and configure the database we have the option to use the 2021c 20, or 19c there is one ocpu and 20 gigabyte free by the default because we're using the free option the free database will be stopped after the seven days and delete after 90 days if there is not uh, used that if you create the database and uh, for your exercise, make sure you're gonna keep using this database at least once per seven days so that it will be not stopped. If this stop, you can always come here and you can start. Okay, and create admin password. Network access. You have a choice to select the access from everywhere, or you can use the from specific IPs and uh, VCN. For this exercise, we will just use the publicly access the database. And put your email as
or any, any notification related to the database, you can uh, you will receive this through this email. Okay, and create the database. Then after fill up that uh, simple form, it's gonna take the couple minutes to database be created, and then you will have access to it. Okay, we have the green, right now ATP is available. We have a 90% of the progress and 100%. Okay, that now the database is fully provisioned and it is available for us to make the connection. Great, but now how to connect to this database? At the, bar, at the top, you have the database action and database connection buttons that let's use the database connection. To connect to this database, we have to download the wallet. You have option to download the instance wallet. The instance wallet is for this instance and connect only to this database. But if you have a multiple database, you have a two or three different databases like uh, ATP and a uh, warehouse database, you can use the region wallet, which will hold information of all database connections on your account. This way you can use the one wallet to connect to multiple databases. Okay, we're gonna con uh, download the instance wallet. And you have a multiple different connections. You have a high, low, medium, TP and TP urgent. For the transactional database, uh, TP and TP urgent are the connection that you may use. For the warehouse database, you will be using the high, low or medium. Those are the different uh, level of connectivity and different resources are available for each connection. The details you can see in the documentation. Okay, download wallet. You have to create a password for the wallet because in some situation, some application may require the, the password that you're using the wallet plus password. and download. <coughs> okay, we have a file downloaded. Okay, now once we download the wallet, we can use the SQL developer and connect to this database. The SQL developer is the free uh, tool from Oracle, which you can download. Right now, the newer version is 22.2.1. Click the plus sign. Type the name of your database. And I like to put the username. Save that password and here cloud wallet. You need to select the cloud wallet because this is the way how we're going to make the connection. Browse. Okay, we're selecting the location where our wallet is, and automatically you have a list of the available connection. Uh, TP Urgent is usually used by the administrator, this way you can have uh, that connection because this is the highest uh, purity of the connection and we can use the TP origin especially as I'm connecting right now as admin do the test and we have a success save it and we can make the connection okay now you can create your account you can create the user's account you can create the tables and 
exercise with this database. Okay, it took like 10 minutes to build the Oracle database. Thank you.